Bomberman Jetters Bomba Man Jetazu Bombayman Jetazu is a video game for the Nintendo GameCube and PlayStation 2 systems. Only the GameCube version was released in North America. It is an adaptation of the anime series Bomberman Jetters, which was based on the Bomberman game series. This is the second Bomberman title licensed under Majesco Entertainment. It was released in Japan in 2002 and in North America in 2004. The PlayStation 2 version does not use cell shaded graphics, while the North American GameCube version continues to use cell shading. Just like the previous game in the series, Bomberman Generation, the opening theme to the game uses footage from the Japanese opening to the Jetters anime series, but the Japanese theme song, Boku wa Gakepuchi, was replaced with a rock instrumental in the North American version. Topic. Plot Mujo and the Ij Ij bandits, tired of White Bomber repeatedly stopping their plans for galactic conquest, enact a plan to crash the Dark Star, Mujo's artificial comet, into the surface of Planet Bomber, which would obliterate the planet and everyone on it. With only 24 hours until the comet reaches the surface, White Bomber and Max are sent out to deactivate the huge engines propelling the comet through space to prevent Planet Bomber's destruction. Topic Gameplay Topic Normal Mode Gameplay is similar to the previous title, Bomberman Generation. Players control White Bomber and explore 3D environments, using different types of elemental attribute bombs to defeat enemies, solve puzzles and progress to the end of the stage. Players who fully explore each stage will often be rewarded with bonus collectibles such as health upgrades, new characters for use in multiplayer battles, and Karabomb partners that augment White Bomber's abilities. Up to 12 different Karabombs can be found in Jetters, though their acquisition and usage is different than in Generation. Instead of Pokémon-style battles to acquire them, they are either hidden in certain levels or must be rescued from enemies. New to Jetters is a Karabomb evolution system. By collecting food, Karabombs can evolve, changing their appearance and further improving their abilities. Some Karabombs are required to progress through a stage or collect hidden items. In addition to White Bomber, Jetters also adds a second playable character, Max, whom players can switch to at any time during gameplay. While Max cannot use Karabombs like White Bomber, his Hyper Plasma Bomb can destroy certain walls and eliminate all on-screen enemies, making it helpful against some bosses. While Generation featured non-linear progression, allowing players to attempt stages in any order, Jetters features linear sequential stage progression. Topic. Battle Mode Battle mode has also been improved from Generation. Instead of having only the four standard bombers, a variety of characters can be used and a few can be unlocked, such as Mighty and Mujo. The handicaps in the game are also different. Instead of granting just hearts, the player can be given items on default. Characters also have a super move type ability called the Killer Shot, which allows them to gain the upper hand on opponents by attacking them or gaining special abilities during the match. The hyper bar must be full in order to use a hyper shot, and it can only be filled by laying bombs consistently. Also, unlike previous games in the series, Bomberman Jetters sports various modes and stages. The gameplay modes are as follows. Standard Battle, basic overhead battle in which the series is known for. Battle 1-2, players must press the numbered switches in the order they flash to win the game, stepping on a number already activated will take back the numbers the player currently is on. Only one player can do the process at a time, meaning the other players will have to neutralize him, her first before trying to press the switches. Battle for balloons, players must collect balloon enemies and drop them in any of the four open holes. Players can blow an opponent's collection up, decreasing his chances of winning. Also the more balloons you collect, the weight of the amount will slow you down. Knockout battle, players have fully powered bombs, throws, punches, and kicks. The field has no destructible blocks and blasts can go through obstacles. The goal is to use bomb blasts to knock the other players off the arena. After each game, players go to Dig M Bomber if the mini-game option is on. 
The winners must dig for their own items while the others dig items and toss them off screen. If played in 4P versus, the winner's character will be turned gold. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Bomber Mansion. Players also have an arcade-style mini-game in which they can access by dying at least once in normal mode. Similar to the arcade mode in Saturn Bomberman, the game lasts five stages and players can gain different ranks depending on how well they do. Reception Bomberman Jetters received average to mixed reviews. The game was criticized for its voice acting, characters' personalities being altered compared to the anime series version, and gameplay being unimproved from Bomberman Generation. Max's inclusion in the game was considered a wasted improvement and the Carabomb system was slightly criticized for being an imitation of Pokémon and for being required to get through some stages. However, as with its predecessor, it has won praise due to its multiplayer as many have stated it to remain true to the formula. In an episode of Judgment Day on G4, Tommy Tallarico criticized the game for its voice acting and abundance of invisible walls. Notes Though based on the anime series of the same name, the Jetters Game is more along the lines of a sequel to 2002's Bomberman Generation as a result of the similar gameplay, graphics, and characters Bomberman and Max vs. Mujo and the Ej Ej Bandits. Bomberman is only referred to as Bomberman once in the game during the opening anime sequence, throughout the rest of the game he is referred to as White Bomber and is never called Shiraban.